All right, let's do this thing. So I got to talk about classes in JavaScript. Classes are an ES6 feature that provides a more structured and cleaner way to work with objects compared to the traditional constructor functions that we're normally used to. Classes are going to be really helpful when we reach future topics such as the static keyword, encapsulation, and inheritance. In this example, I have a constructor for a product. Our product needs a name and a price. For example, we have a shirt and the price is $19.99. Instead of using a constructor method, we're instead going to use a class. Our class will include a constructor. So let's start from the beginning. To create a class, you type class, then the name of the object. So our class is going to serve as a blueprint. Our objects will be products. Then add a set of curly braces. To use a constructor, we can use the constructor keyword within our class. List any parameters, we will have a name and a price for each product. We will assign the properties of this dot name equals the name parameter that we receive. This dot price equals price. I will also create a function. Our function will be display product. Now inside of a class, you don't need to use the function keyword. When we would like to display this product, we will console.log product colon space. I'll include a placeholder. This dot name. Let's also output the price. Price. Pick a unit of currency. I'll use American dollars. This dot price. Let's create some product objects. Const product one equals to create a new object, we have to use that new keyword, the name of the class, product. The constructor is going to be called automatically, but we do need to pass in a name and a price as arguments. We will pass in a shirt. The price will be $19.99. Just to be sure that everything works, let's invoke the display product method. Product one dot display product method. Here are the details of our product object. Product shirt price $19.99. Let's create a few more. So this class is reusable. Product two will be pants. I'll pick $22.50 for the price. Let's display product two. Product two, and we will use the display product method of our class. Product pants, the price is $22.50. Uh, looks like I only have one decimal point. I'm going to make one change. After the price, I will use the to fixed method and set this to be two decimals. There, $22.50. All right, product three. Const product three equals new product. Our third product is going to be underwear. This underwear is really expensive. It's $100. It's really good underwear, guys. Product three dot display product. Product underwear price $100. Here's a challenge round. I'm going to add another method. This method will have one parameter, sales tax. We'll create a method to calculate a total including tax. So let's create a new method. Inside of a class, we don't need the function keyword. Calculate total. There will be one parameter, sales tax. All we're going to do is return this dot price plus to calculate the sales tax, we'll take this dot price times the sales tax, assuming it's a percentage. Okay, let's display product one, product one dot display product. I'm also going to create a constant for the sales tax. That's not going to change const sales tax. Let's say the sales tax is 5%, 0.05. I will create a variable const total equals, let's take product one, use the calculate total method, but we have to pass in sales tax. We can either pass in this number or this variable. Once we have our total, let's display it. Console.log I'll use a template string, total price, 
in parentheses with tax. I'll add a placeholder, display the total, pick a unit of currency, I'll use American dollars, then I'll add two fixed two to set it to two decimal places. All right, our product is a shirt, price is $19.99, total price with tax is $20.99. Let's do this with product two. Product two dot display product, product two dot calculate total. Pants $22.50. Total price twenty three sixty three. Let's check out our really expensive underwear. Product three dot display product. Product three dot calculate total. Our underwear is one hundred dollars, including sales tax. It's one hundred five dollars. All right, everybody. So those are classes. They're an ES six feature that provide a more structured and cleaner way to work with objects compared to the traditional constructor functions that we learned about in the last video. Classes are going to be really helpful with a few upcoming topics. And well, everybody, those are classes in JavaScript.